and compassion, dearest ones, compassion for the things that are unpleasant. Regardless of what you know about what is going on in your world, drawing your attention and the attention of others to it is not going to do any good. Drawing the attention of others to these things that you do not like does not wake up those people. All you are doing is causing them more anger and more distress and strengthening what is going on in the world. Pointing and yelling no at something does not fix it, dearest ones. Getting a large group of people together to point and yell no at something does not fix it. You might be able to force it to stop temporarily, but you have not fixed the problem. All you have done through force and your attention to the problem is treated the symptom but not the cause of the illness. Do you see what we are saying, dearest ones? As much as you want to get others to wake up by talking about what you know is going on in your world, you are not fixing anything. You are only causing one minimal blockage to the continued flow of those unpleasant actions. By looking at what you do not like and getting others to look at what you do not like does not stop what you do not like. You will only cause it to readjust and find a new method of flowing out that will match what you do not like. So for all of those political questions, humanitarian questions, healthcare questions, non-terrestrial questions, and so on and so on, we encourage you to never speak or think about them in the negative, but instead see all of those things that you do not like as symptoms of a massive underlying cause. So do not spend your time trying to treat each symptom. Spend your time treating the massive underlying cause. And that massive underlying cause is lack of love. Yes, we know that sounds ridiculously simple, but that is the vibration that manifests all of the actions that you deem horrific in your realm, in your density. Remember, dearest ones, we love you so much. Vibration is the cause and action is the manifestation. If you do not like the actions of others, then you must treat the vibration first. As vibration is non-tangible, as it is energy, the only way to treat energy is with energy. If you know the cause is lack of love vibration, then the treatment is to transmit love vibration to that injury. Does this make sense to you now, dearest ones? Do you understand why we are so insistent on speaking about only prosperity. Do you see why we teach you how to love yourself unconditionally? We are teaching you how to treat the cause of the distresses in your world. We know it may seem like your choices to love yourself would not make a difference in the entire world, but dearest ones, you are the greatest power there is in your world. Your physical actions do not make a difference, but your mental choices move mountains. 
If you know about all of the manifested actions that are secret in your world from the lower vibrations of humans and others on and in Gaia, then we are telling you in absolute and total clarity. The only thing you can ever do that will make any difference is to love yourself more. If you want to wake up others to what is going on around you, speaking about it will not help them, but will only cause them more pain and anguish. Directing the attention of others to something that shall cause them emotional distress is not sending out love, dearest ones. That is a misunderstanding that you were taught when you were children. Do not look at that which brings sadness of heart, but instead go within and see that situation already resolved and feel the love flow out of you and the joy knowing how beautiful the situation has become. Be the leader that you are, dearest ones. Pointing others to look at things is not being a leader, but teaching others to silence themselves and to go within is the most powerful thing you can ever do. If you want change, then go within. See everything that makes you unhappy as resolved and feel the love and joy and relief within you at knowing it is resolved. Live in that feeling. Live in that vibration and allow the time to naturally pass to allow it all to resolve in the most divine way. But you are and must be the change that you want to experience in the world around you. You are the center. You are the whole. You are the one. If there is anything you deem as unpleasant, then the first and only thing to do is go within and heal yourself. Heal your own vibrations. The more you do this, the more the world around you will shift. You are the leader. You are the master. You are the center. You are the universe. This is because you are love. You are light. You are freedom. You are truth. You are power. You are perfect because you are a manifestation of Source God. You are the Divine. We leave you now in the love and the light of the one infinite creator, Adonai. <laughs>